Our guest tonight was so nice, we brought him back twice. His name is Kyle Knight. He's a hip hop artist from Uptown, New York, and he's here to share with us his latest single, The Truth. What? Life Entertainment News. Lifestyle. 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 Welcome. Thank wow. you. How are Welcome. you? I'm feeling great. Thanks for having me back on What's the 411. Yes, yes. <laughs> So talk to us about the truth, because it's not just an album, it's also some videos, you got yeah. a lot going on with Tell that. Tell us the truth about truth. Right? Yeah, well we just put out, um, uh, um, as of June 1st, we just put out the truth. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it covers everything in social issues from police brutality to global um, global warming, also climate change and much more. Wow, oh that's, my God. that's really You're deep. telling the truth. You're just showing America, yeah. showing the world who mm -hmm. they are. Yeah, it's pretty cold facts, and not only that, but it's, it's also, um, what's relevant to the times that we live on, mm -hmm. um, the times that we live in, excuse me, and um, from, from everything, which is my truth, you know, also too. So yeah, you're talking about a lot of deep things that we don't necessarily hear on the radio all the time. Why did you choose to talk about those topics? Um, well, I thought to um, choose to talk about those topics was definitely to, to um, keep it focused on all the relevant issues that's going on around us and some of the social issues in terms of what we see on the news, in terms of police brutality, climate change, and much more, and what's in our everyday to day lives. Right. What's your writing process like? Like, how does that work for you? Um, my writing process is definitely um, writing from my past experiences. Not only that, but writing in actual facts mm -hmm. and actual factual and, um, and everything that I really feel to put into my lyrics, you know, as an artist, you know, um, f from my experiences that what I see other people going through, also what I'm going through, and um, what I feel that other artists out there aren't doing. That's something I could introduce and bring something new to the table. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm glad you touched upon that. So how has the current climate, like stuff that you hear on the radio, stuff that you hear other artists doing, stuff that's going on in, you know, politically, how does that play into what you decide to write about? Well, definitely from what's going on in the news politically. It mm -hmm. is from why um, I felt to write what I wrote. And um, now, of course, you know, what's going on in office, you know, and, and everything relevant to the times going on around us in terms of climate change, global warming, government corruption, and much more. Government corruption. Can you yeah. preach on it? Can you can you expand on it a little bit? Well, you know, of course, what's going on today in, in the White House, you know, and nobody's above the law and things that um, politicians are getting away with that we all know about. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk to us about the video because you have like kind of a, a series of different videos that you're doing with the truth. Talk about how you broke that down. Well, we have a very compelling series right now. It's on YouTube mm -hmm. and it really breaks down everything in the truth. The Me Too movement, also um, chemical trails, also police brutality and much wow. more. Wow. Yeah. Nice, nice, wow. Nice. So each one deals with, I guess, a different topic. Now, yeah. Where on YouTube can we find? What, what's the exact title so that they can find it? You could find it, Kyle Knight, The Truth Chronicles on YouTube. Okay, nice. Wow. Okay. okay. So you talked about how, you know, you were talking about things that necessarily other artists aren't talking about. Mm -hmm. So are there any artists out, out there right now that actually inspire you that yeah. you kind of like... I, I feel Nas when I'm right. When I'm There's something next knows. to you. Very yeah, nice. um, definitely. That, um, that's been my idol for a long time. Um, it's definitely Nas. But who well, else today is um, Kendrick Lamar, right. J. Cole, right. you know, definitely those artists. Okay. Right, okay. Right. What yes. about Childish Gambino? Because you know he came out with that. This is America. Yeah. Um. He's a. He's all right now. You know. <laughs> we don't want to talk about him. Wait, 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 wait. Shut that down. <laughs> <laughs> this is interview. So, yeah. so what? What is it about the truth that you feel sets it apart from whatever you? What? What? What's out there now? Well, because not only because of the relevant production that we have behind the truth but of course the lyricism and of course what's being said in the record and because this type of lyrical content is not being delivered from other artists mm -hmm. you're not really hearing it as much but the result that we're getting is fantastic and overwhelming right, right. so you're not a MC you're a lyricist that's right, a different lyricist. yeah that's totally different wow right, very true mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. all right okay so you know the state of the music industry right now you know what do you think that artists are doing that that you have decided purposely not to do? Differentiate yourself. Well, I definitely felt to blaze my own trail and to follow my own path and to really set myself separate from other artists and things like that. You know, so what I definitely tell the fathers out there is not to be um, scared to um, step apart from the crowd. And when you do do that, to step with your best foot out, you know, and with your best delivery. Yeah. Yeah, and you be true to yourself. Facts. Yeah. You yeah. seem so focused. Mm -hmm. Like you feel like a 45 year old man. How old are you? Me, I'm, I'm 28. I, I just turned 28 Goodness, in March. Very, very young. Yeah. Very, very, 
Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, so what, like an EP, an album, like what's happening? What's what's next? Well, right now what we have going on is, is the Truth EP, you know, um, the Truth single. And of course, um, I'm coming out with my first full length album, Kyle Knight 2020. How how many songs are we going to expect on this album? Right now we're looking from like 10 to 12. Oh, Ooh, you're nice. not even going to do the Jay-Z six song at in and out You're not doing that? No, but it, 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 it depends on what my time frame is looking like, you nice. know. But we're definitely um, going to deliver ne next year, if not, um, 2019, the year 2020, of course. Are you okay, in the nice. studio all the time and all that stuff? Yeah, um, I have a whole bunch of people who I who really just come to me, produce from all over the world, really? um, who really come to me, you know, with their hands out, really wanting to work with me and things like that. So I have just a whole array of just producers. So I'm nice. gonna follow you on social media. What's your social, me social media? Yeah. Kyle Knight, um, um, but my actual social media is Kyle Knight Music, KyleKnightMusic.com. Kyle okay. Knight Music, I'm gonna follow you yeah, because so I know you're probably dropping some jewels yeah, on your Instagram. Yeah, definitely dropping knowledge. <laughs> right. I'm going to follow your story, your, your Snapchat. You're going to see yeah. an old lady on your Snapchat like this. And you know, what's in the future of Kyle Knight? <laughs> definitely more of the lyrical things that we're doing, some more of the conscious records, and of course, some more of the um, fun records and things like that. So there's just a very good balance, you know, that people right. could really have to pull from. So we could party too. Yeah, right. you know, and not only that, you know, we're always moving forward in times. So people can go back and get Hey Sister, The Truth, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have a, a, a fun record like What I'm looking for or um, Kyle Knight 2020, you know, so what I'm looking for really is just balance. Right. We and then like, talk about a little Hey Sister a little bit in case they didn't catch yeah. the last interview. What was what was that about? Yeah, Hey Sister was dope. Hey Sister did, did very well. It's what propelled me to the music industry. And what Hey Sister was about was women empowerment, women respect. And um, why I felt to write it was definitely to wake women up, you know, and to stay woke about the challenges that women are going through. And like we talked about earlier in the interview that how, what inspires me to write lyrics, definitely challenges that I go through, experiences that I go through. And it was definitely my experiences that I went through watching women and things like that throughout my whole life. So I really felt to pour it into the lyrics. And that's how you have Hey Sister, Women Respect, Women Appreciation. Nice. That's a nice song too, I, guys. If you yeah. haven't heard it, check it out. I just Great have to video. salute you. You Thank are you. an amazing young man. Thank I mean, you. you're going to do wonderful things. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me on What's the 411. What's the 411? Entertainment.